For this video, I'm going to discuss Math 9, Quarter 1, Week 7. Represent a quadratic function using a table of values, graph, and equation. Let's go directly to what's new. So what is a function? So function is a relation wherein every element of the domain corresponds with exactly one element of the range. The domain of a function is the possible values of x. The range refers to the possible values of y. So domain is x, range will be y. What is a quadratic function? So quadratic function is a function in the form y equals ax squared plus bx plus c where a, b, and c are real number and a should not be equal to 0. The highest exponent of the independent variable of a quadratic function is 2. Then in a quadratic equation, ax squared is the quadratic form or quadratic term. bx, this is the linear form or linear term. And c is the constant. ax squared should not be equal to 0. Otherwise, it makes the given function looks linear. Then what is it? A quadratic function can be represented by a table of values, equation, or graph. Let us make a table of values and sketch the graph of each quadratic function listed in the examples below. So you have here examples 1, y equals x squared minus 2x minus 3. Then you have their note, x squared is the quadratic term, negative 2x is the linear term, and negative 3 is the constant term for number 1. 2y equals 2x squared plus 1. Number 3, y equals negative 3x squared. So for number 1 solutions, y equals x squared minus 2x minus 3. So the table of values below has col columns for x and its corresponding values of y. So in the x column, we have there the common values of x. Negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, up to 3. Okay. Then the second column is the value of y. So what we're going to do here is we're going to substitute x with the given values of x here. So negative 3 first. So if x is negative 3, so you're going to have y equals negative 3 squared, which is 9. Then negative 2 times negative 3 is 6, so plus 6 minus 3, so 9 plus 6 is 15 minus 3 that would be 12 so you're going to put it here on the y column 12 then if x is negative 2 so negative 2 squared is 4 negative 2 times negative 2 is 4 then minus 3 4 plus 4 is 8 minus 3 is 5 here so you're going to put it here 5 and so on so if x is negative 1 you have 0 if x is 0 it's negative 3 then if x is 3 y will be equal to 0. So this is now the representation of y equals x squared minus 2x minus 3 using table of values. Then number 2, y equals 2x squared plus 1. So the table of values below has columns for x and its corresponding values of y. So the same values of x being used, negative 3 up to 3. So the same process, we're going to substitute the equation by the values of x on the x column. So if x is negative 3, it's 19. Values of, the value of y is 19, is 1. If x is negative 2, it will be 9. If x is negative 1, 3. 0 is 1, and so on. So again, you will just substitute the values of x on the given equation. Then for number 3, the same process. y equals negative 3x squared. You're going to use the 7 values of x from negative 3 to 3. Okay. And this is now the representation of table of values for y equals negative 3x squared. So kindly check on your own. Then using the respective table of values, we're able to find the values of y given the values of x. So from the function y equals x squared minus 2x minus 3, 
the table yields the ordered pairs negative 3, 12, negative 2, 5, negative 1, 0, 0, negative 3, 1, negative 4, 2, negative 3, 3, 0, and also for the function y equals 2x squared plus 1, it yields the ordered pairs negative 3, 19, negative 2, 9, negative 1, 3, 0, 1, 1, 3, 2, 9, and 3, 19. So the ordered pairs can be used to represent a quadratic function. Now we can sketch the graph using the values of x and y from the table of values. So for number 1, this is the table of values. So what we're going to do is just plot the set of ordered pairs in a graphing paper or a Cartesian plane. Then after having that one, just connect the points. So let's have first negative 3, 12. So negative 3, 12 is found here. This one. Then negative 2, 5. This is negative 2, 5. Then negative 1, 0. This is negative 1, 0 here. Okay. This point here. Then 0, negative 3 is in here. This point. Then 1, negative 4. 1, negative 4 is the vertex. Then 2, negative 3. This part here. In here. Then 3, 0. In here. On the x-axis. And so on. So just uh, connect the points using smooth curve. So, you have there the parabola or the graph of the given function. Then, for number 2, this is the table of values here. Then, you're going to do the same. You're going to plot the points. Then, after plotting the points, connect with a smooth curve. Okay? Same with number 3 here. So, the graph of a quadratic function is a parabola. So, parabolic function is another term for quadratic function because of the form of its graph. It can be observed on the graphs above that when the quadratic term is positive, ax squared, the graph opens upward. However, when the quadratic term is negative, negative ax squared, then the graph of a quadratic function opens downward. So the vertex of the parabola is the point where the graph attains the minimum point if it opens upward and maximum point if it opens downward. So minimum point meaning this is the lowest point. Maximum point, this is the highest point. So activity 2. So state whether each of the following equations represent a quadratic function or not. Justify your answer. Okay. So what we're going to do here is look at the highest exponent of the equation. If it is 2, then you're going to have quadratic function. If it is not, then it is not a quadratic function. So our justification will be the highest exponent. But on the examples on numbers 8, 9, 8 and 9, what you're going to do is you're going to uh, simplify first or solve first the binomials before deciding if it is a quadratic function or not. What's more? A. Complete the table of values and graph for each of the following quadratic functions. So the values of x here are given. So what we're going to do is just substitute the values of x in the equation and find the values of y. After having that one, we are going to plot the points, then connect with a smooth curve. So let's just have letter A as our example. So if x is negative 2 here, so we're going to have 2 times negative 2 squared. Negative 2 squared is 4 times 2, that will be 8. So this is 8 here. If x is negative 1, negative 1 squared is 1. 1 times 2 is 2. Y is 2 here. If x is 0, automatically y is also 0. Then if x is 1, 1 squared is 1, 2 times 1 is 2. If x is 2, 2 squared is 4 times 2, that will be 
a okay then if we're going to plot this point so that's our first negative 2 8 so let's just have this one as our x and this will be our y in here okay this line here is x okay so negative 2 8 so if this is y here so you're going to count okay negative 2 2 units to the left so in here then 8 so count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so this is the point here this is point negative 2 8 the negative 1 2 negative 1 2 this point here then 0 0 this is the point here the origin then 1 2 1 2 this is the point okay then 2 8 2 8 this one here then connect with a smooth curve okay so this is now your graph so just do letter b letter c up to e okay so the same process what i have learned complete the table of values sketch the graphs of the quadratic functions in one plane or one graphing paper and answer the follow-up questions you may use different colored pens to sketch each graph so you have there one two three four five six quadratic functions and you have seven values of x so what you're going to do is you're going to substitute these values of x to the equations so that you can have the values of y then after having that one you're going to plot the points then connect with a smooth curve what i can do so in this section you're provided with activities in which you can apply the concepts and skills previously learned with this this can deepen your understanding for further application of the mathematical concepts so activity 3 fill in the table so a complete the table of values for x and y given the quadratic function so this is just the same with what we have did in the previous examples. Letter B, use the table values in A to sketch the graph of the ordered pairs of the quadratic function and connect them to create a smooth curve. So what you're going to do here is you're going to use your answers in A. So you're going to plot the points, then connect with a smooth curve. So you're going to draw here the parabola. Then C, real world problem solving. So Anna is a packer at the supermarket. She likes to pack the cans like this in the form of a pyramid if she can. A, complete this table showing how many cans she needs for different, different pyramids. So you have their rows, then cans. So you're going to fill in the table here. As your answer then letter B Anna has completed a pyramid with 27 rows how many extra cans does she need to complete another row the next is post assessment okay you have there 10 questions so kindly apply what you have learned in our discussion so that's it for this video if you have questions about this topic just comment below Thank you for watching and have a good day.